regarded as one of the most beautiful museums in the world. With corridors that stretch for seven miles, housing over 200,000 pieces of incredible art from ancient times to the modern era. The Vatican Museums are a place where beauty, history and faith come together. Located within Vatican City, the smallest state in the world, the museums are home to iconic pieces, such as the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel painted by Michelangelo, the Raphael Rooms and the ancient Roman sculptures in the Pio Clementino Museum. And the person in charge of the entire museum and its collection is its director, Dr. Barbara Yatta. I feel blessed. I feel blessed and privileged. Uh, it's almost uh, seven years that I'm here. And uh, really, blessing and privilege. Every day I, I enter in this wonderful place. The privilege is to have this as your office, every day surrounded by breathtaking art. And in fact, what is on display to the public is only a small percentage of the art that the Vatican actually does possess. The rest is in storage. If we look at the percentage of what is on display and, and what is in, in the deposit is amazing. Certain collections have only the 1% <laughs> On, on display, so we, we tend to, to show and we tend to, to rotate uh, uh, some collections to show them better. When Pope Francis appointed Dr. Yatta as the director of the Vatican Museum in 2017, it was a little bit of history in the making, as she is the first woman ever appointed to the role. Seven years ago, when Pope Francis appointed you as director, it made headlines here because you were the first ever woman to hold the role. How did you feel about that and how do you still feel about it today? I must say that at the beginning, everybody was emphasizing this aspect and I was minimizing it because I thought it was, um, I mean, of course I, I always felt as uh, insecure. I was working for 20 years in the Vatican Library, so I didn't really never expecting. I was an art historian in a, in a librarian world, but I never, never expected to be appointed. It was two years into the job when in Mexico City to give a talk at a university that she fully recognized the significance of her appointment. Two girls uh, came to me, two students came to me and they said to me, I want to shake your hands, I want to know you because uh, for us, you are an example. You are a mother, a woman, uh, a wife, but you also follow your passion and you have a, a pick, an apical role in probably <laughs> the best museum in the world. And there I, I said, oh, I can be an example for young students, for young girls. You saw how we could inspire other young women around the world. Exactly. And it was Dr. Yatta who was at the helm of the museums and its 1,000 staff through its most trying time in history. In 2019, the Vatican Museums had 7 million visitors in just one year. And the following year, when the COVID-19 pandemic gripped the world, that number dropped to almost zero and it's reported the Vatican lost income in the region of 100 million euro. The fact that they were close uh, and uh, to reorganize a life of uh, almost a thousand people <laughs> that uh, from one day to, to the other, uh, I must tell you, I, we were coming here only a few of us, uh, myself, the, the secretary and a few guards that were checking in, in the really lockdown time. It was like a ghost uh, city, empty. Uh, you, 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 you didn't see anybody going around. And even the museum was magic, but even scary. And even the financial loss <laughs> from having the museums closed, because I remember hearing you say once that even the cost of dusting, something simple like wiping the dust off the statues and the artifacts, 
is over 300,000 euros per year. Uh, of course, Pope Francis told us to, to pay the salary to all the families. So no money coming in, but the money still going out. Exactly. So I remember uh, after almost a year uh, of uh, opening and closing, opening and closing, and people around were talking about selling our <laughs> objects to survive. Thankfully, visiting numbers for 2023 so far have been even higher than they were in the first few months of 2019, which will help fund the ongoing preservation and restoration work at the museums. And the pandemic was also a time for positive change too, for example, with the launch of a new website to bring some of the museum's collection online. You can now have a of course, uh, virtual tours of many, many of our uh, galleries, but also we have a, a, a specific catalog uh, uh, of all our displayed objects that you can uh, study each statue in, in, a, in, a, in a deeply way. A lot of things were done. But the Vatican Museums are not just a great experience for visitors to enjoy. It's also a tool to help the Catholic Church build relations with other nations and religious groups around the world. For example, exhibitions from the Vatican Museum have been displayed in China and in the United Arab Emirates. The Church hopes that common ground can be found in the appreciation of beauty. Beauty is, is not related to any <laughs> gender, any, uh, to all genders, or to all, all the, the people have, that have a, a soul and, and can really understand. Everybody can understand the beauty. And having been reappointed by Pope Francis to serve another term as director, Dr. Barbara Yatta has many more plans ahead for the museum and its incredible collections. Think of how we can um, really communicate and share this incredible patrimony, which that is not only a patrimony of art, not only a patrimony of history, but is also a strongly patrimony of faith. Dr. Barbariati, thank you very much. Thank you, you. In Vatican City, Colum Flynn, EWTN News In Depth.